Hello, in this session I'd like to carry on with the theme of how you perfect your pricing policy. We're going to use the same example as in the previous session. So if your price was 100, the variable cost is 60 to buy or make whatever it is you're selling and your volume was say 6,500 a month, your revenue would be 600,000, your gross profit would be 240,000 because you're selling six you're selling 6,000 and you're making a profit of 40 on each. So your gross profit is 240,000. Your fixed costs would be, well, some level, but I'm going to say they're 100,000, which would probably be about the right proportion in this sort of business. So if your fixed costs were 100,000, that would then say that your net operating bottom line profit was 140,000. Now, if we increased our prices by 10%, we saw yesterday that even if your uh, volume fell by 20% you'd still be making money and actually I understated the position because if you take into account the fixed cost it's even better than that. However let's just say that we don't lose 20% by putting our prices up 10% but we do lose 10% of our volume which would be fairly pessimistic really. Well even if we lost 10% so our volume is now 5,400 we would still have a revenue of 594,000 because we're getting a higher price for each thing we sell we would have a gross profit of 270,000, which means we've increased our gross profit even though we've lost 10% of our volume. We'd still have the same fixed costs, and our net operating bottom line profit would now be 170,000 instead of 140. So putting up our prices 10%, and even if we lost 10% of our volume, we still see a 21.4% increase in our bottom line. But what if we didn't lose any volume? So our price is 110, same variable costs, We'd now have revenue of 660,000 because we're charging 10% more. We'd have a gross profit of 300,000 instead of 240. We'd have the same fixed costs and our bottom line would go from 140,000 to 200,000, which means we'd have increased our bottom line profit by 42.9%, you know, over 40%. What we're doing is on this break even chart, our revenue, instead of being the blue line there, it's going up more steeply, which means our break-even point where they cross the costs is at a lower output and the gap between the two is much bigger. So it's quite dramatic really. A 10% increase in your prices is definitely going to increase your bottom line unless some catastrophe happens and you lose you know, lots and lots of business, which is highly unlikely. Now, what I'm going to show you in the next session is that you don't necessarily even have to put up your headline prices. There are, there are different strategies for increasing your average price apart from doing that. I mean, I'm thinking you probably should be doing that, but there's other things you could do as well. So I hope you found that useful and interesting. And in the next session, I'll show you some of the options you've got for increasing your average price without necessarily putting up your headline price. Thanks very much for watching.